Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how I make these DIY fall sweatshirts. They are all super easy to make. I hope this video inspires you to make your own. For the first top, I'll be doing the ice tie-dye method. You will need any container, a rack, fabric dye, and some ice. I started by placing the rack on top of the container. Then I took this oversized white long sleeve shirt that I found on Amazon and scrunched it up on the top of the rack. Now completely cover your shirt with ice. For this shirt, I'll be using this tan fabric dye because I thought it would be perfect for fall. I went ahead and poured it into a squeezing bottle to make it easier to apply. Pour your dye all over the ice until you cover the entire surface. Let the shirt sit overnight. Make sure you leave it alone after the ice is melted. That way the dye can set into the fabric. After letting it sit for over 12 hours, I rinsed the shirt and washed it with laundry detergent. Then I threw it in the dryer and this is the final result. I think it turned out super cool. It looks like something you can find at a store, but you can make your own very easily. For the second shirt, I decided I wanted to try the ice tie-dye method again, but this time with fabric dye powder. I took this yellow dye powder and sprinkled it onto the ice surface until it was completely covered. After letting it sit overnight and washing it, this is how it turned out. You can either choose to leave your shirts the way they are or add an iron-on patch to personalize them more. I decided to use this cute sunflower one. I thought it looked good with the color of the shirt. These are super easy to apply. I simply ironed it for a few seconds and it was complete. I think both the liquid and powder methods worked really well. It's up to you which one you like the best. Next, I'll be showing you how to create a reverse tie-dye sweatshirt. All you need is a sweatshirt, bleach, rubber bands, and a spray bottle half filled with water. I began by damping the shirt and laying it flat on my table. Then pinch the middle of the sweatshirt and twist it until you have gathered all of the fabric. Now take your rubber bands and use them to hold the fabric together. Once I was done, I poured bleach to the spray bottle that was halfway filled with water. Then I sprayed the bleach mixture to the front and the back of the sweatshirt. After letting it sit for about 15 minutes, I removed the rubber bands and rinsed it with cold water. I washed it with laundry detergent, then I went ahead and dried it. For this sweatshirt, I wanted to add a cute little quote on it, so I went on Cricut Design Space and added this SVG that says sweater weather. I adjusted the size to fit one of the corners of the shirt. Then I took this white heat transfer vinyl and printed the image on my Cricut machine. Once 
Once it was done printing, I weeded the image. Next, I placed my heat mat under my sweatshirt and put the image on top. I took my heat press and ironed it for 30 seconds. Then I simply removed the plastic carrier sheet. And this is the final result. Last but not least, I'll be showing you how to create a simple embroidered sweatshirt. I started by creating this image on an app called Fonto that says pumpkin on it. Then I took a coffee filter and placed it over my phone and traced it with a marker. I'll be using a maroon sweatshirt for this DIY. I took a small embroidery hoop and unscrewed it. Then I placed the inner hoop inside the sweatshirt and placed the coffee filter on top as well as the outer hoop and screwed it back. Next, take your embroidery thread and split it in half so it's not too thick. Then thread it through a needle and tie a couple of knots at the end to secure it. Start by taking your needle from the back to the front and so on like I'm showing you here. Follow your stencil as you do so. Also, every time you come back up, make sure you take your needle through the last loop you created. This will help the stitching of the lettering flow a lot better. Continue stitching until you follow your entire stencil. Once you're done, tie a couple of knots on the back to secure it and remove the embroidery hoop. <music> Lastly, carefully peel off the coffee filter and you are done. I am really happy how everything turned out. They are all perfect if you want to spice up your wardrobe for this fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which DIY was your favorite. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next week with a new DIY.